Hello, welcome to my next ITSO game against Andrea Chatti, a guy with somewhat with first some extended initials M01 and CIA. Uh, okay, I play USSR. This is not a hand with great ops, but it offers some good events. Now, Marshall plan is troublesome, of course. Deco is something I do not want to see defected. Special relationship is not a big problem. I think I'll go with Arab-Israeli war. Captured Nazi scientist is another. The problem is I don't have too good coup cards and I should coup in order to uh, get the best of Deco. Mm, oh well, defected Arab Israel war, not a big problem. Oh, of course, defected captured Nazis would be cheaper. All right, so I assume he doesn't have Middle East scoring, otherwise, he'd probably headline it. This sounds natural. Let's start with some unusual move. Sooner or later, I will have to cool. Oh, that's for sure. Or maybe I can hold the call. Now I broke West Germany in order to invite him to France. If he leaves France open and I'm able to get there with DEFCON at 4 or lower, I probably will with Marshall Plan. One thing I could do is to play decal now that DEFCON is at 5 and just wait for things to happen. Maybe I should have done it right now. Algeria, Angola, Algeria as an access gainer to France. Angola, Laos, Cambodia and Thailand. Okay, so this is my event. I can play the void special relationship and I guess it's worth. Now my remaining hand isn't very convincing. One thing I could do is to save my coup for the very last action round and perform it in Italy. 
reducing my opponent's good counters due to millops. I mean, if I play captured Nazi scientist for event, for example, then Korean War perhaps to South Korea and then coup Italy with a Marshall Plan, he doesn't seem to have a good counter coup target. And I have Deco as a great headline. Well, maybe not with Defcon as high. I must say it's it is an unusual turn. Of course, they, there's always a risk of five-year plan, but honestly. And this is not a kind of situation where I personally would play five-year plan for an event. But this is already some fun in the way the game goes. Of course, Deco in a uh, in turn two is a must to let it go to reshuffle. Mm -hmm. He may have Asia scoring. He also plays as if he had in the Pakistani war. Maybe I could use a China card to cut Thailand. It's a guaranteed success. Mm -hmm. CIA is not much of a concern now that Fidel is gone and Defcon is so high, but it blocks me with Decal somehow. All right, let's attempt coup in Italy. Wow, that was great. That was great that I rolled a six. That was an undeserved luck, but it cuts Italy off Marshall plan uh, influence and yes, uh, he is going to retake Europe quite easily, but not at the very moment, uh, together with uh, securing his millops. So, okay, it was lucky, but even if I had rolled, let's say, a four, it would still be a, a justified move. With a three, somewhat less because he would dominate Europe in this case immediately. However, uh, it already doesn't look like uh, I am able to fight for Europe. Now, excuse me for a moment.
so I'm back. And he replied with a coup worth a six in North Korea. Uh, somewhat nasty. Okay, in the Middle East, I can't do much, so I'm not really bothering. Huh. Okay, Middle East scoring for him. One, two, three, and four. And now there's an open question. What exactly should be played by me? Now, as I have CIA, I think I'll just go all in into Asia because I want to play, I want to goof around DEFCON a, a little. Uh, if I take Thailand, he takes North Korea. I don't like it. I then can hit Pakistan, but if I fail, he's likely to take Asia. You know what? Let's do it. I mean, he may coup Thailand now, but it's with downside risk on his side as well. be nice to place you as crisis quite soon to cut his access to Israel but of course there are priorities yes he's going Thailand I suppose uh -huh. There are priorities and Asia is quite high on the list. <laughs> North Korea, I suppose. Yes, this is the moment to play Asia scoring. Because if I fail with Indo-Pakistani war, it only gets worse. I assume he coups now, but he cannot force me into a mid-war battlegrounds. So. I'm holding two cards. I'm playing three more. So I think Suez Crisis, CIA, 
and probably in the Pakistani war. And things to remember, I should put one more in Thailand. And Suez crisis is quite important uh, due to Israeli access. I believe I said it already. Indo-Pakistani war is probably going to be my source of military operations. So it's worth trying anyway. It's not a good time for him now to go out of Israel. Mm, unless, of course, he plays Nasser and Kuz and rolls a six. Which would be, well, let's say inconvenient due to lack of better words. Okay. So. Uh, he equalized Europe, so this is a great moment to deny it and to deny his access. And of course, I could use CIA coup first, just not in Panama, but South Africa and Iran are safe. Uh, but uh, this has a downside because he then may take Angola or Colombia and have the next move. So let's try this. And succeeded. Okay, this was luck. Yet another lucky roll. Not that his rolls were bad. Plus, uh, well, he has the China card, and my Pakistan and India are un uh, and Thailand are unprotected, and I can overprotect only one with CIA. We are at the end of turn two, and it's already a quite fun and very unusual game. If I play CIA and he doesn't coup, I'm wondering whether I should coup or not. Mm -hmm. Because Because if I don't coup, we start with Bethconet 4. If I do, however, I don't overprotect Thailand nor Pakistan. I think I can live without Pakistan rather than without Thailand, assuming he's going to give me the China card for it. Europe is the awaiting scoring, but if I don't get socialist governments, uh, it's not really worth trying. Well, there's always Truman around, so he may as well break Italy. He didn't coup. I'm not cooing either. 
Thailand is too important. So he's gaining one point from military operations. And I got Europe scoring. The quite nice bunch of cards. Many of them are known to him. He doesn't know about NATO and five year plan in my hand. He has containment, so. Let's assume he doesn't defect me and let's assume I can purge him. And then, hmm, back and cover and Panama coup. This looks decent. Ah, <laughs> defected part. Damn it. Let's make this coup here in Iran. And yet another high roll on my side. The dice like me in this game. Although it's worth noting that my opponent uh, also cannot complain. His role in North Korea was superb. And well, I don't think Europe is worth triggering for one victory point. So I think I'll just dump it with five year plan. This, however, means that I either pass one action round or play you an intervention for, for up and trigger NATO triggering NATO is something I'd like to avoid. So maybe I will score Europe. <coughs> Just timely enough. <coughs> Excuse me. There is no chance Europe can score better than that unless he Place Warsaw Pact formed for me. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I can probably protect everything at once. What I can do, however, is to utilize these points. And even ignore Romania. Oh, he didn't take from Romania. Okay, so Lebanon, because he gained access here. And um, this gives me domination. Israel, because this gives me access to Egypt. I don't want him to be the first there. And Afghanistan, because it gives me a domination in, Euro uh, in Asia. 
he has Nasser, he has containment. It is tempting to say five year plan. Hmm. Maybe I should have secured Pakistan. It was quite uh, justified that he didn't take from Romania because I have independent threats and he knows about it. I might have made a mistake this time by not going to Pakistan. <coughs> exactly. Exactly. Not good. Not good. All right, let's dump it. Let's hope he doesn't have Asia. Of course, an ops war is mood. He has blockade and distal. He has containment. He has Nasser. Uh, he has Truma. This I can resolve. I assume he's going to save containment. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so this is space time. I keep rolling high, and it's not what is wanted in space. Oh, decal. Nasser containment and something. <laughs> Not so easy to decide. Let's make one small step here. And three bigger steps here. The problem was, of course, I'd love to save it for my last play to force him to respond with a three of card and without over controlling Pakistan. Unless, of course, he has a four of card now. But with five year plan, it's not so easy to plan in advance. Mm. No, sir. All right, let's take Libya. And 
oh, of course, he has Truman and Containment. <coughs> <coughs> Okay, there's a knowledge I can exploit in this case. Yeah. Because this should at least force him to play containment and to not play it to, into Venezuela twice. Of course, he may as well break Italy but Europe has just been scored, Asia is waiting. <laughs> he really wants to have Pakistan over control in this case. I must say he is a challenging opponent. And I haven't played him so far. He's somewhat unknown and I'm curious about him because he has a high playback rating, higher than mine, but he doesn't have very good ITSL outcome. I believe he's below 50% or around 50%. I mean, I'm at 80% and I have lower rating than him. And I didn't pick the easiest opponents. I was just playing more or less accordingly to schedule. Hmm. That was surprising. But somewhat... Justified. Now, Europe's courts of socialist governments are not really helpful. And indeed, I probably want them to coup in Venezuela. <coughs> but first, yeah, liberation theology. I will use the power of Allende, I suppose. That's a poor hand in terms of ops and somewhat problematic one. So socialist governments will be sacrificed <coughs> in Venezuela, hoping to a good role. Mm. Well, that's even more troublesome. So maybe shuttle diplomacy. By leaving Asia unprotected only for a while. Hopefully soon to be nullified with Middle East scoring, yeah. Failed, so probably South America is something I can't fight right now. But at least this sets my priorities quite obviously. Now, even Nuclear subs is problematic because he has great um, his targets in Central America. I think I'll have to play the China card this turn. 
so well, easy decision. Hmm. <coughs> yeah. Let's create a threat here. An immediate one, despite shuttle diplomacy. And then, if he takes South Korea, uh, North Korea, sorry, I'm gonna score Middle East, renewing the threat. Follow it up with Allende. And hopefully, socialist governments to put one in Chile, two in Argentina. And then I might start worrying about the rest of my hand. After scoring Middle East, Sadat may be played. Okay, I'm losing access to Libya, but. Uh, Muslim revolution is waiting. Middle East is scored. Uh, Saharan states have the priority of cooing, of course. <laughs> and sooner or later, I probably have to play nuclear subs. I'm holding OAS and I think I'm holding one small step unless he spaces successfully, in which case I probably should respond with one small step or an event. Hmm. Right, so now Sadat is. Not a, as big as a big problem. Not as big problem. South America, on the other hand, is a big problem. Distal is gone. Cameroon, I suppose. No, Angola. Okay. Now, if he has good realignments, I'm a little crippled. Another thing he can have is Africa scoring and yeah, he may try to control Africa. If he does it with a four of card, Zaire, Saudi Arabia, South Africa twice, and Nigeria, I'll probably have to bet on realigning Nigeria. This Asia looks unstoppable. And probably <coughs> this time I'll have to put one in Pakistan from nuclear subs. 
unless, of course, I place one in Pakistan from socialist governments, making nuclear subs more flexible. In this case, the other from socialist governments must go to Chile. Okay, that was a big one. This must go here. <clears throat> Bear trap for a coup in a country like Saharan states, and it was perfectly judged. He just controlled the country. Mm. Now, if he has Africa scoring, then this point into Zaire was a mistake. Oh, spacing quagmire. And successfully, so well, one small step, well, it's calling for itself. Oh, come on, three scorings. <laughs> what are we doing with this? Not these three scorings I'd like to see. Right, let's check our luck. Mm, puppet governments, slightly annoying. One small step is not as important now. I don't have time to do stuff like this. It's very important for me to win this role in India. And actually, okay. if I do, it's probably advisable to score Asia right now. Without the China card in his hand, I could attempt some other stuff, but with it... Oh, I succeeded. I succeeded, in which case... What's, what do we have in Asia? I don't want to provoke him. <coughs> to just take Indonesia, because I also have Southeast Asia, Southeast Asia scoring. If it costs me Mexico, annoying, but I can't have it all. I don't think it costs me Cuba. <laughs> I rather think his point into Haiti was like, I have Fidel and I want to realign you right after playing it. Argentina, mm -hmm. good enough, I must say, good enough. Oof. 
okay one attempt can be on the other hand should it be done now it's one small steps time And then I think it's time to play OPEC and try to realign Nigeria. <coughs> because if he controls Africa, it's gonna be hurtful. I'm leading very heavily on the VP track, but my options of Uh, increasing my advantage are very limited now. Hmm. I'm awaiting two void plays. So after Central America scoring, OAS is the most painful card. I probably should keep it. Panama Canal returned as a void card now. <coughs> All right, you have Africa scoring message taken. Oh, Central America scoring is plus one for me. It gets reduced to four. Maybe he doesn't have Africa scoring. If I get Portuguese Empire or South African unrest before he gets it. Mm -hmm. Okay, this can't be any better. Now that he's paced chair, South America. Yes, this was what I was expecting, and no realignment rolls against it. Let's make it somewhat harder for him to successfully realign. <laughs> and with my last action round, Arab Israeli war. Hmm. One to Chile could make sense because the voice of America can't make much harm in this case. And Africa is going to be very tough to fight back. Remaining scoring South America and Africa, both dominated by him. Okay, that was lucky. Uh -huh. And I got them both. Hmm. Missile and the alert. I 
Yeah, for Miss Elena, we are certainly prefer to give no rod. Hmm. Okay. <coughs> Now I'm afraid he's returning it to me. And cooing chili. And my good luck is ended. <coughs> Although I have Kennedy and I believe we haven't seen A long gunman so far. Okay, so you saw South America scoring. Here you are. John Paul will probably be elected to space race. Africa is a big pain in the ass and I'm wondering whether I can do anything about it. Well, I I can coup Ivory Coast because I need meal ups anyway. Missy Land be massive revolution. We will bury you, Long Gun Man. These are the important cards I remember. I don't remember seeing. Hmm. Another high row. Maybe slightly annoyed with my rolls like this. <laughs> Not that he responded very poorly. How I learned can be sacrificed. It was quite a poor roll. And he wisely didn't pick Cameroon as a target. <coughs> okay, so a 
Rika can't get much worse. <coughs> John Paul landed successfully. In space. Mm. Okay. Let's take a chance on this one. Because why not? Maybe his high cards are no longer too playable. If he plays salt negotiation for an event, we don't get a reshuffle. Not now, of course, but... Hmm. Okay. But Africa scoring is not a domination. Sorry, not a control. So it was probably worth. If he doesn't play salt negotiations, he doesn't. So we are getting perfect reshuffle. He has ABM and he has brush war. <laughs> this card is empty. But since we had reshuffled to, to the perfect end, I can be sure that he isn't getting any doesn't get any scouts. So long gunman, Portuguese Empire crumbles, ABM, brush war, mm. Usuri. Colonial Rarecards, yeah. Okay. Maybe you don't have any other force than ABM. I assume he didn't play ABM because uh, he knows about soap negotiations in my head. Yeah, Muslim Revolution, of course. Okay. He will have no rod, but he will have to play Missile Envy after this. On the other hand, this time I rolled poorly. So probably now my best bet is to play around Defcon.
this is quite well served by the china card getting of his hand although of course if he plays it he may regain it with usuri mm. if feel I'm about to lose this game unless some very successful combo comes. Like okay this this was one lucky thing. One I probably needed. So hmm. Because one other thing that may lead to my victory is war games, of course. achieve this alliance for progress <clears throat> must not be played for event mm -hmm. Eight points. Okay, why not? Playing around Defcon also requires not playing salt negotiations. For the event. And regretfully, playing Warsaw Pact formed before it can be evented. But if it goes to the final scoring, I will lose it. Yeah, I forgot about it. I should have remembered about it. Maybe no, not there. Oh, I believe Korean War is the card he should have. I think he's going to play APM Treaty on his last AR to have Defcon at 3 at the end of the turn. No, okay. That was somewhat surprising. Uh, 
and of course I need new ops. <laughs> so now, one victory point and war games. I'm gonna take a draw via war games if if it's given by any chance. Damnet has your scoring, and of course, no war games. <laughs> and by the way, this hand is terrible. And this just comes on top of this. All right, I'm getting used to the thought that I'm losing this game. But of course, until there is DEFCON, there is hope. Now my hand is mostly unplayable. I have to keep the China card. I mustn't play Kennedy. Mm -hmm. Of course, I can hope that the decal does some work. <laughs> that he overlooks it. If Kennedy goes to space successfully, I'll be able to discard grain sales. <sighs> On the other hand, Maybe it's worth giving four games a chance. I mean, now Space Kennedy, then AR5 attempt to decal mess in Asia, AR6 the China card to Japan if he retakes his domination and AR7 Asia scoring. Kennedy fails so while gets stuck with grind sales. Uh. Hmm. 
she still doesn't have meal ups so maybe that's my hope and he he's becoming quite short of time 11 minutes left and turn 8 is still in its middle so maybe that's also my hope Because by the map, it's most certainly over. Huh. Uh, this messes up a lot with all my ideas. Now I just want to keep him busy enough. To gain from Milops. Maybe I should have taken Japan earlier. If he has a playable 3 op, he might take two Asian countries and Canada. He has. Phew. So the score is evened. And I don't have good victory point sources. Except from this one. <laughs> okay. Iranian hostage crisis followed up with terrorism and that's my main hope uh, but first we need to lower death count then we need to avoid losing on victory points and on war games so terrorism first 
then scoring in order of not giving him points. Sooner or later he's gonna have no more cards. And the sooner the terrorism is played, the bigger the chance it works. Of course, he may have UN intervention, and so on. This is why I have to uh, delay um, bear trapping myself. Damn it. I drew long gunman. All right, it was my best bet anyway. But now, of course, the game is like deadly lost. Mm. The game is now completely lost because now that ah oh, had you an intervention, so my only chance really was to draw. You an intervention and not throw on gunman. Now that would be too much to ask. Okay, it was nice to see you all here. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to play it until the end because there is still a slight chance that he oversteps the time. Now the problem is that once I play the scoring, he knows that this is what's going to happen. And of course he's going to control Europe. This, however, may be puzzling a little, so maybe... Maybe he just spends too much time doing this. Okay, that, but really, is there any chance to save this game other than by winning it on time? Well, salt. Salt cannot return, I believe. Yeah. War games and war. Okay, <laughs> come on. What war games? There are no war games. I mean, there's no possible way for me to score eight victory points from where I stand. Oh, and he had all the times on top of this all. 
そうほうほうほうほうほう As if I didn't have enough trouble. So it's gonna be a Europe control victory. And I can do nothing about it. Now, I really wonder how my rolls are going now. I'm stuck. Nice. I'm still stuck. Hmm. GG. So, thank you for watching, see you next time, and take care folks.